Mama Docks? Yes. That's that. I can manage now. You go quickly and fetch another one. It's your turn now, Johnny. What is it? It's important I'm not disturbed. Well, that's the case, Ma. You better lock up. They're coming. Fool? Who's coming? The mystery man and his mate. <gasps> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Not yet, not yet. Closed. For this time of day? I don't. Oh, we want to get in, don't we? Get in, not break in. But what about Mickey? She's in there. I'm not so sure. Quiet a minute. I don't think she is in there. What? No vibes? No vibes. Come on, then. Hmm? Back to the think tank. Yeah. <laughs> Nearly ready for Mama Doc, Mr. Sweet. Nearly ready. You are to let me go. This is a disgraceful business. Do you realize, my friends... Your my... friends have just left the premises. My colleagues at the university are searching for Dr. MacDonald and Professor Darion. What have you done to them? And Mickey, if you've harmed them, I'll... Oh, well, the police will... The police are on Mama Doc's side. Have you not seen my policemen? The real police. The real police were never called in. Is that not so, Mr. Sweet? But now... But now, we have little time. Your behavior is wicked. Wicked and outrageous. What do you think you're going to do to us all? I shall... Yes. Base to Bobby, base to Bobby. Yeah? Do not say yeah. Say Bobby receiving base, Bobby receiving base. Okay, Bobby receiving base. That's better. Now listen. I want a minute-by-minute minute report on the mystery man and his friend. OK, Ma. I have a special treat in store for you, Mr. Sweet.
strange. He's not back either. <laughs> Look at Ozzy, about to launch himself into orbit. He's sensitive to atmosphere. He can tell we're worried. Well, it's a pity Mr. Sweet isn't here to see it. Were well, you still trying to make contact with Mickey? Yeah. Anything? No, nothing. Well, she stopped transmitting. Well, it could be the equivalent of temporary interference. You don't think she's unconscious? Could be. Perhaps she was getting too near the truth and someone realised it. Bobby to base. Clarence Street, Ma. What? Doc. Clarence Street, Doc. Yeah, that's better. Look, when can I come back to base? When you bring back the mystery man. I've been out here for hours, Ma. <laughs> base to Bobby, over and out. Two scientists disappear. Dr. MacDonald, Professor Darian, Mickey and Mr. Sweet gone too, possibly kidnapped. Look, don't you think it's time we call the police, Terry? No, I don't want to have to do that until we have no other alternative. I've got a feeling that the police aren't the right people to deal with this case. No. Let's try other methods first. Well, psychometry? Yes. Our friend, the policeman again. But who's he working for? We're going to have a party. A real live tea party. With a cup for you, a cup for you, and a cup for you, and a cup for you, and an extra cup, and one for Mark. Oh, all my family together for the first time. That's why we're celebrating. Not just tea. Oh, no. There's a special treat in store. Now, Mickey, your teacher tells me you've not been working. That's very, very naughty. And for that, you shan't have any tea. No cake, no ice cream. But you... You have done exactly as Mama Doc said. Exactly as Mama Doc said. And for that, you shall have your reward. There. <laughs> Why can't you behave like he does? You make Mama Doc very, very sad. I think Mama Doc will have to spank you. You're a horrible old woman. We are not your children, and you'd better watch out for us. Not my children? How dare you knock my children? Of course you're my children. You've been away a long time, but now you're going to stay with Mama Doc. Oh, how could you say such things? You shan't have a reward for being so nasty. No reward at all. You shall have Mama Doc's reward. Of course. The Highland doll was pinched by the policeman. And it turned up at Mama Doc's, because Mr. Sweet brought it here from there. So the policeman must be working with Mama Doc. Well, he was the one who kidnapped Darren, remember? And Mickey, if that's what's happened to her. Because the doll's eye we found next to her empty car connected with the policeman. And the last time we saw Mr. Sweet, he was going to Mamma Doc's. So they must all be there, yes? What? Dr. MacDonald, Professor Darian, Mickey, Mr. Sweet? He kidnapped all four by himself? Well, it's easy when you're posing as a policeman. Right. So now we've got to get into Mamma Doc's. Mm. Chaz, I want you to go back over to Posey's. Quickly as you can. See if you can borrow a, a doll in national costume. Well, which country? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just bring it back here, quickly. Well, as long as it's convincing enough to get us into Mama Doc's. Well, why don't we just break in? Because Mama Doc must be a very strange lady, and we've got to take care. And now for the very special treat. Oh, Mama Doc is so good to her children. So very, very good. She's going to show them something beautiful. Something very, very special. You will enjoy it, Mr. Sweet. You will appreciate it.
the music love you, Mr. Sweet? I have not studied it. It is not one of my favorite ballets. But it's a dance from Coppelia. You don't know Coppelia, Mr. Sweet. You should know that. It's about a toy maker. A very, very clever man. He was a great doctor. And he had many beautiful dolls. And the most beautiful of all was Coppelia. And he made her human. He could make her dance and sing. No, he did not. He only thought he did. Spun Hilda deceived him. He did, he did. Oh, you don't understand. You don't understand at all. Me, I think you'll understand. I think you'll understand much better. Yes, I'm sure you will. Now listen, oh, Dr. Capellius was a very clever man. He was a very famous doctor and a scientist. He could make dolls into humans. But Mama Doc is cleverer. Much, much cleverer. Mama Doc is a brilliant scientist. Mama Doc can make humans into dolls. Posy, I need a doll. Oh, well, I do. A doll, not you, dummy. Oh, all right. Uh, yes. You can take Heidi. Oh. Was it worth a lot? Only I think Tara wants to do something to it. Well, only sentiment. I brought her back from a memorable holiday. What's he want to do to it? I don't know. Might have to damage it a bit, though. Do you mind? Well, I might if it were for you. It does it for that nice magician. Hey, look at this lot. What's huh. the matter? Think I'm getting as peculiar as Mama Doc? <laughs> a fortune-telling doll. Let's see. Take heed and take care. They're setting a snare. Mm. It's jointed. Made at the turn of the century, I should think. You know about dolls? Let's see if it's my lucky day. Abracadabra. Hmm. The devil. Oh. Mickey got that card. Did she? Hmm. Better take care then, hadn't I? And better go. Terror's waiting for this. I'll see you. What do you think? Philistine. Well, I'm sorry, Chaz, but it'll have to do. As long as it's convincing enough to get us into Mama Docks. Oh, have you got your gear? Mm-hmm. All safe and sound. Good. Do you remember how I taught you to palm it? Well, something like that. Come on, let's hope we can find them all there. Yes? I picked them up. Oh, fool! I told you only to watch them. You... You wait till you get back here. You, you, uh, here. press the button. Sorry, Ma. Base to, uh, Bobby to base. Where are they, in the van? In the van, Ma. Well, you said you picked them up. Yes, that's right. I've seen them, haven't I? Why didn't you say so? I did, Ma. They're on their way, both of them. Oh, 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 oh. I shall be waiting for them. No driver. No. I'll give you three guesses where he is. Yeah. The finishing touch. Yeah, that's good. I like it. <laughs> Mystery man. Now, Bobby, you look after things in here, and I'll go into the shop. Yeah. Hey, don't worry about me, Ma. I'll look after him. Oh, idiot! Be careful with it. 
funny. Open this time? Yes. Look. I think she's expecting us. Good evening. Yes. Uh, well, uh, we thought you closed at 5.30. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I even close halfway through the afternoon. Well, then we are lucky. Is your child ill? Yes, we were wondering if you could help. Her legs don't seem to fit properly. Uh, the light is very bad in here. I think we should go through to the other room. Come along. Oh, look, Chaz. A tea party. No Mad Hatter. No, but a very interesting international conference. One Highlander, one Englishman, one American, and Britannia. <laughs> my poor old eyes are, are really not very strong. I shall have to go into my workshop. Come along with me. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait here, if you don't mind. Uh, there's so much to see. Your friend can wait, but you must come. I think I will have some tea. There isn't any tea. Really? Let's see. You cannot have a tea party without tea or cakes. What? Eaten it up already? You were hungry. Stop! Before all your guests disappear. You're foolish. They're not guests. They can't disappear. <laughs> Do you want your doll mended? Oh, yes, yes, please. I'm sorry if we upset you. It was only my little joke. Look, everything's unharmed. Oh, little jokes about my children are dangerous. I shall protect them, you understand? Now, come with me. Aren't you going to invite me to tea? For something to eat? And something to drink? I'm sorry about the little bother out there. My assistant. A small aberration. We will have to deal with him. But can't I have some tea? You must not think of us as intruders, Mama Doc. We only want to join in. <laughs> you speak for yourself. Oi! Mama Doc, won't you sit down? and have some cakes. They're lovely. Would you like some? No? They're very quiet, aren't they, Mama Doc? Quiet and still. They do not speak, and they do not move. They're better. They're better than the others. That's why I got them. They're real like he is here. Are you sure, Mama Doc? Listen. Ma, Ma, come and give us tea. We're waiting, we're waiting. You see, Mama Doc? Those children out there are real. They are real. They're calling you. These are no good to you, Mama Doc. No good at all. They do not move, and they do not speak. But those children out there are real. They are real. And they need you. I'm coming, children. I'm coming. Don't be impatient. Of course, we'll play charades. Bobby, Bobby, come quickly and help with the party. The children need us. Here you are, Posy. 
Here's Heidi back again, safe and sound. Uh, Mum and Doc mended her legs before we left. That's lovely. Thank you, Taro. And you're quite sure the children are all right? Oh, good. Right. Shall we have some tea? Oh, I never ah, thought I'd touch good. the stuff again. No more did I. What a gruesome experience. So well, we're all all right now, and I can return to my study of the Malay fish owl. <laughs> right, well, I'll see you all in about an hour then, darling. Right, bye. Yeah, but don't you think Mama Doc ought to be put out of harm's way, Taro? Oh, no, she won't harm anyone, not again. Uh, thanks to Taro. You know, there's an extraordinarily deep understanding you showed, Taro, of that type of obsession. I really must congratulate you. Well, it was because I suspected as much that I didn't think the police were the right people to deal with this case. We had to be much more gentle and understanding. And I knew that ventriloquism would come in useful one day. <laughs> yeah, basically, we're dealing here with an illness, not a crime. She's just a very lonely old lady who has no one to love. <laughs> well, I bet you'd have been a queer old bird under any circumstances. But surely the same thing doesn't apply to Bobby. Oh, well, you see, Mr. Sweet, as you saw, Bobby is totally under her control. As soon as Mama Doc sees it to be dangerous, so will he. But what's to stop her from starting up this injection lark all over again? Ah, well, Taro has seen to that with his clever hypnosis. No, I don't think she'll hurt anyone again. But uh, just to make absolutely sure, I've arranged for someone to keep an eye on her. You see, she now believes that humans turned into dolls are useless. And the dolls are real. And that's harmless. What we have to remember is that she just doesn't live in the same world as the rest of us. <laughs> Nor does Dozy Posy. Now you can see what will happen if you get too involved with your dolls. Oh, I'm all right, darling. I've got my tarot cards to bring me back to Earth. Thank you. Morty, anyone? <laughs> <laughs>